What's up crew? It's episode 38 and I really wanted to thank you for supporting me so much. I get such cool comments from you guys, how you enjoy the videos and, um, and keep looking at them. I mean, 38 episodes, that's, uh, I guess that's pretty cool. And I've got quite a few more decks to show you. So if you, ha if you haven't done so already, please consider subscribing as much as I'm ashamed to ask you this. I'm just really curious to see if I'll reach a thousand subscribers. All right, cool. Today we're gonna look at the Pao Peralta Vato Rats team deck. And uh, that one is done by Craig Stasic the third. Let's have a look. So I've got two versions of it, a blue and a white. And I used to even have the red one a long time ago. Actually not so long, but I sold it. I love the graphic and uh, if I didn't have to really pick and choose what I keep and what I hang, I would have probably kept as many of these as I could. Um, so it was created, actually it was, I guess, printed in uh, 1984. As you can see, art by Craig Stasek III. Hopefully I'm pronouncing the name correctly. There's three different versions in this, uh, in Sean Cliver's book. This is the original Bible, disposable. And also there is a story in his second book, A History of Skateboard Art. Um, there's something about the, 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 the history of the graphic here, but as you may or may not know, it's a little bit hard to properly string and make sense of Craig Stasek's statements. Um, he talks about copyright and, and how he comes up with random graphics. Um, apparently this might have been the original Vato Rat that inspired the whole graphic from a surf circa 1970, long, long time ago. Yes, but let's have a look at these beautiful pig shaped graphics. So we have the oval dragon on top. As you would expect, it's really, really flat. It has a bit of a kick tail, which is nice. You know how Pau Peralta used to do these ads with an ironing board. That's pretty much an ironing board, flat. Minimal, minimal concave. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, just a little. No nose. Nice wheel wells. These wheel wells are a bit more rounded than the ones they used to do in the past. See how squared off these are? And, uh, and these are also very squared off. I guess for some power bones and the white one also has the same rounded, relatively small wheel wells. While we're listening to Endus from Australia, these guys are no longer playing, but we managed to Steal their bass player who now plays in my band, Adriatic. So they've got a bit of a kind of new metal influence. Check them out. And also you can check out the Schema Collective and download all the music that I'm playing for you guys. Uh, Schema Collective on Bandcamp. All right, let's have a look at the close-ups. There were a few reissues done uh, before these guys came around. They were they had just Powell on top where it says Bone. They just had Powell. So it's all 
almost like airbrushed is what this looks like at the end. Like spray painted, spray painted. Really cool graphic, I love it. My son used to call it the Star Wars graphic. Because these look like lighting sabers. How cool is this? I love it. This one has also the oval dragon on top. So, um, 2016 and 2017, and they've done a few more colors, of course. You would have seen them on the Skate One website. Yes, so, these are these two beauties and keep following me for a lot more as you can see around me and there's plenty of decks not around me that i'm gonna keep posting about so consider subscribing sharing with your friends and enjoy cool skateboards and cool music take care have a good day